Freaking out. What fucking. was you doing when you knocked yourself out? Skating with Mason, they wanted me to do a frontside oh, air over him, doing like a backsmith or something, or front lip. And I was like trying to get the air right and uh, over wrote under rotated came down and just smacked my head perfectly but it was the tunnel you know i don't know if you ever had it where you can yeah. and the tunnel expands and it tries uh, to close and you're i've had that happen yeah, twice that, and that day yeah, right. nicole oh, house and once. It to me yeah, once. Yeah, yeah. Alyssa and all them Damn. looking and i was like man this is, i was just embarrassed you know when you slam and you're like this hurts but i'm fucking embarrassed oh, right now <laughs> are we rolling i was yeah i was gonna ask you about I, the first time I ever been up there was probably with like Luca and Ian, yeah. and fucking, I'm sure you were there, right. just like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I associate that ramp with you for sure. Yeah, man, I wish it was my ramp. Uh, <laughs> but though, I mean, there's, uh, what are some of those other kids? The Banjo when, Bruh? When did that ramp, oh yeah, uh, 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 Mac G. Mac G, Damn, yeah. Damn, that yeah. is, Great that, skater. yeah, he does love that ramp. When did that ramp actually, what year did it actually get built? Like, what was the, whole idea or were you like a part of the open or okay okay no nah, that's what how i, look, I was like fucking so thought you i had, had a vert ramp in my in my mom's warehouse that For she's sure. still in with the gons painting yeah that was before the after the widow maker after jake's ramp oh, okay when i was kind of over it and you know i'd moved out of my mom's house and all that the ramp just sat there and sean said what's up with the ramp he's the dude that runs cal berkeley thing gotcha. i said dude you can have the ramp if you take it down so he went there, made quick work of it, put it up at the tennis courts. So you'd skate the tennis courts, the vert ramp, yeah. and then they had some other stuff. Then they moved it to the spot now, redid it all. And now it's, man, there might be a two by four from my ramp, but okay. it's, that's been up there for like 18 years or something. Damn. On and off, maybe 15, long ass time. I had a Boost Mobile ad up at the tennis court ramp, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. shit, what? Yeah. Damn, Boost Mobile? You had a yeah. Boost Mobile? <laughs> that was a weird, that was the only, it's the only questionable sponsor I ever think I had. I mean, but it was, I, like Jason was involved. There's a lot of people involved because yeah. they were just basically like. I feel like I've seen Gut in a in a one, one of those commercials. Dude, like a bunch a of us got or some shit. free phones. Dude, I had free a free cell phone. I think they forgot for maybe five, eight years. And when Cardio got hurt in Australia, that shit, that was the heaviest night, one of the heaviest nights of my life. Boy. But you try to call, cause this is like, you know, pre Instagram, all that. We had to call his people and Jim and everyone. And I remember we were like, fuck, this is gonna be expensive. And I was like, here's my Boost Mobile phone. It's yeah. paid for. It was a $10,000 bill. And they, that's when they re took my phone from me. <laughs> but I was just like, call, I'm about to say, but call everybody, like let, yeah, let, let everybody know. But that, sure. that I would just take it international with me and be like, apply all charges. Yeah, I don't fucking fuck get the bill. Oh, that's yeah. fire though. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah, is yeah. A, a, a sponsor that <laughs> was mobile, pay that whole thing. Uh, so that's Tent City, yeah? Tent City. Yeah. yeah. So how did, uh, that even come about like because i mean you had already been skating with all those fools yeah a bunch with joey and shit but um who first like told you or were you guys all like out and i think julian was like i got this idea there's this pipe at the end at that time i didn't travel with the real team at all um and no shade being thrown but it was like generators and handrails late at night mm -hmm. And I went on several of those trips and I was just kind of like, we'd skate somewhere cool in the day. Like what's, uh, what's that kind of tennis court bank stuff, uh, spot in Atlanta? Uh, the real famous one. It's like the little steep transition, whatever. Like we'd skate stuff like that and I'd be or, like, I can get down on this. Yeah, well like on trips and shit, like uh, just like, cause how many parts did you, th th is it just the in the real to real? No, I got. I mean, all the, they're making all those little videos. The yeah. first video, the real video, was my first video. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's like kicked out of everywhere or something like that. Sure. Real to real. Uh, That's the part that just like fucking. 
That's the I'm best thing sorry. I've ever filmed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's that's like where I'm like, I, out of all of them, I'm like, I could still handle the. I, you know, you know, it's weird to watch yourself skate, but I could, I like that was a good time yeah, in my life. Yeah, but there's also I don't know what nonfiction. There's nah, but there's some ramp footage of Bob. It's, I don't know if it's a contest or something. I don't know if it's a four one one video. I can't, I can't yeah. really pinpoint it. Last night I was like. Trying about his time to type up like the video, I was just like passed out. But uh, there's some there's some footage and some videos there's like quick clips. I'm like that's that's all you get. That's all yeah. you need sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. booyah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I was saying to old boy, like even at contests, like I didn't want to skate the whole practice. I wanted to come in, do work, and get out. And I'm not. I don't get used to ramps fast. Like I think Rainey can jump on anything and, and do just his start shit, going right? For it, huh? I need yeah. like two days, yeah. two days, and then I'm good. But like, but you even trying to go to practice and all that shit. It Especially just, it's just, hard, yeah. dude. You know, vert skating. It's like it took so much shit, and I d I never questioned that. Like it, it's it's kooky because it's fucking in and re it's it's this thing. Yeah. And it's why I love it too, because like you can deconstruct that thing. For right sure. you can like mad scientist a ramp and just pull it apart but i also was aware like if you don't get what's happening it's obscure mm. and it might look robotic or mm. you know like jake didn't let me do hand plants growing up i don't really do really? hand plants he was like hand plants are I have pictures of jake doing hand plants but he's like yeah. hand plants are for barneys oh, you know hand plants shit. and if you ever do a layback air shacks i will fucking disown you oh, so there was like shit where I was like, fuck, bro, I wish I could just sit on a front side yeah, hand plant for... like Ronnie. <laughs> but like, I grew up like hand plants are for kooks. Damn. Right? So he was, he was kind of prepping me to do new shit. And then, you know, then you just, you start hanging out with street skaters and stuff like that. And you want to do the shit yeah. they're doing on a vert ramp. Yeah. That's a trip, dog. Cause... Yeah. I love I love like hand plants and shit, but it's just like to to to, to have someone just be like, nah, what? That's how you're like, all right, fuck it. I yeah. should have been like, fuck you and done them anyway, nah, but it, like, it's not like, with Jake. Jake and me, it was like, that's not, I didn't buck up against Jake, you know? I might leave the house, but I wasn't gonna get argue word, with the dude. Word. So yeah, your ramp, because I get them, sometimes I get those ramps mixed up until I'm looking at the videos. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, those are two different ramps. Yeah. But his ramp was first, right? Yeah. And then um, you were staying there. Y all, y all, yeah, yeah, there. that was that was right where Lower Bob's is. Yeah, I was going to ask the yeah. connection to Lower Bob's. Like, how do you feel about that? Like, the fact that we got that whole fucking it's shit wild. over there. Yeah, like. It's so, it's every time. Like, when I was hanging out with Onio that last time, mm -hmm. and Onio like put his arm around me and he's all, we lived right there. Yeah, I, sw I mean, I've, uh, Arco explained it to me or something like that too, but where exactly was it from, if I walk out of Bob's, like, like where, okay. was, where was Jake's ramp? Yeah, like? if, you're, if you walked out of Bob's the gate, out uh -huh. of the front, yep. you make the right onto Pine Street, yep, yep. just halfway down that block. So that whole lot, that whole empty pad of cement, right? That's fenced oh, in. Oh, the ramp was literally in that. Yes, dude. Oh, so, shit. so that that was Phoenix Ironworks. They made all. If you look at the manhole covers out here, most uh -huh. of them and the little drains are Phoenix Ironworks. So as a foundry, so I'd wake up to like, boom, <laughs> metal dropping, yeah. steel dropping. Damn. That so they had half of it. Then this anarchist dude had a piano mover. He had his little squat in there with like 25 people living. And then our spot was like this 5,000 square foot thing. So sure. the ramp was built in there. But like those houses that you look at from Bob's, like you're coming out the gate, Onio and Clem's house was mm -hmm. there. Oh, yeah. We were right across the street. So we just had like, if, if this magazine is that lot, we just had this little square like that. But that little square was 60 foot ceilings, or 5,000 square feet, yeah. open space. When, when my mom got it, it was a bathroom in the corner and open space. So we were sleeping out, you know, we're just sleeping outdoors basically, or, but in that tin building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah. That, that's, that, that when they, the, the, in Cyp the Cypress Freeway fell. Yeah. They rerouted it. That's and what they, they brought up too. Put that about. road through there and it would have just clipped the corner of the building. And that's what we argued like, hey, just take off the corner of the building. It's a metal building. Like a rector set it back. And they were like, no, we're taking the whole building. You guys uh, got to go. Uh, 
So that, it was really weird when they put that road in, they moved the freeway, they moved the road, they moved the train tracks. Lower Bob's is on top of the old train tracks. Holy they took shit. the train tracks <clears throat> out, but yeah, like yeah, yeah. our dog buzzard, that's- Oh, what, that's funny you say that. Cause there was a, there was a stake. There was a train stake in the back. Like one of those sticks that you yeah. could nail into the thing. And I remember Pete Stone trying to pull that shit out. Or it was like a cable or something that was just yeah. like stuck in the bottom of it. Yeah. And we kept trying to wiggle like, damn. Yeah, that, that was the train tracks. And Jake and I would walk those, the dog, and walk those tracks every single day, twice a day. So like, I've walked over Bob's when it was just dirt. Fuck, bro, probably 3,000 times. So it's, it's, I mean, to me, it rules. Like, yeah. I love that Bob's is there. It's like... Ron Allen mentioned Eris's uh, spot the other day where it was like a testing grounds in Oakland. Yeah. Well, Wiggy's ramp or Andy's ramp, whatever, cardio you ever jump skate through bobs the ramp. though? I skate bobs. Skate I bobs? skate bobs at 9, 10 in the morning. Oneo and I still go down there, you know? I, li I like, I mean, bobs is a trip because everything is chest high to head high, right? Like, you gotta like, you're kind of like, all right, like there's no, there's no this little quarter pipe nah. to like kind of get down on in the beginning. I'm, I'm talking shit like I skate Bob. But I asked Julian, I was like, yeah, Julian's like, I, I said something about skating Bob's. He's like, you know I don't skate Bob's, right? And I was like, really? And he goes, no, it's right by my house. But he goes, there's nothing little just to like fuck around yeah. on. And I was like, oh, okay. But I, I mean, you know, Bob's is fucking gnarly. That's why it serves a purpose, yeah, and that's, yeah, yeah I think Arco kind of ex ex expressed some, some of it when we were talking, just like, the gnarlitude. Yeah, <laughs> just like, yeah, because yeah, when people come there, you're, you're coming to get down. And even Pool Rail, when we were just talking, he was like, when I go to spots like that, or Wasteland, or whatever, it's like, I'm going to fucking get it in because I'm paying homage to like yeah. the hard work that fools put into it and shit like that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, a whole, that's the whole DIY like thought, right? So. Um, uh, it's just it's, it's different, you know what I mean? Like I guess so. I, I, yeah, that's definitely why when I go, I'm like trying to skate and I'll take some runs down in the back bowl and shit. But yeah. I'm like, dude, you got really, if you're gonna get in there, you gotta like get in there. And you're I'm probably like, gonna pay somehow. Exactly. You know, payment comes exactly. one way or another. Exactly. Yeah, it's weird because Town Park would be the closest other spot geographically. Right. I mean. We used to skate the West Oakland Post Office, those ledges in front, right by Bob's, like if you're skating to Bart. That was, Jake and I would go to those, we'd skate this curb and like nose slide the ledge. That was our warm up. Damn. And then we'd skate the vert ramp. Sick. But now you have, uh, you know, the defirmary park there and it's totally different, right? You, if you want to piddle around on a ledge or the gap to gap, yeah. you can, but like going to Bob's, you know, you're kind of like, Shh. Uh, all right, here we go. Yeah. Were you that hyped on skating uh, before Jake came around? Yeah, dude. My brother, he skated a bit. Actually, when we met Jake, I was 12, okay. and my brother had a mini ramp in the basement of this house we had in San Francisco. So my mom lived on Fulton Street, and in the basement we had like a ramp up. It's just like in a room like this. Oh, you know, this, this high here on this side where you could just stand. I could stand because I was a 12-year-old. And then the other side went to vert. So you just kind of come and like, you know, axle stall. And there's in no the, coping. In the house? In the basement in of the, the ba house. Oh, in the yeah. basement of the house, yeah. Yeah, it was an old corner store, just like I, I live yeah. in an old corner store now. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's what we had. So like, I remember Jake came over and he was like, this ramp's fucked up. Like, this thing is garbage. And my brother and I were like, we love this ramp. Word. Like, this is our little ramp. But I did, you know, I mean, dude, without Jake, my trajectory would not gone the way it did. Word. I don't think. I mean, I really love skating when I yeah. met Jake, but like. But to, to have the ramp and then have the, the sessions that was going sessions. down and the energy that yeah. was cultivated around dude and just his love for skateboarding. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, you know, it's weird because he's like, you know, my mom's fucking dude. So Word. he's kind of like my stepdad at one <laughs> yeah. point. But he was also like an older brother. Like when I when he started to try something, I would be like. I'm gonna get this yeah. before Jake. Like slider to fakie, or there are certain tricks where I was like, this old fucker ain't gonna, because he, he's 20 something, but word, I was like, word. he seemed old to me and he, he had so much <laughs> attitude. I was like, if I can take Jake down on this, and I'd just be like, mm hmm, like, yeah, it's not that hard, Jake, like backside disaster or something like that. <laughs> but like that, so we had this like little rivalry going. Sick. But, um, you know, 
There's there's so many stories. I mean, I could we could have a five hour podcast yeah, yeah, about just that, Jay, right? but yeah. like um, Jay Shrimp is is that that fo- 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 photo of uh, Julian doing a five zero star on an extension. I think, like, I think so. I think if it's exactly. a real skinny extension, uh-huh. on, he's doing a front side pivot. Yeah. 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 Off into the side. Yeah. yeah it, it was the widow maker and it had kind of like an exposed uh, wooden wall. Like you could see the two by fours in it. Yeah. So like those sessions, like, I'm just tripping kind of on the, the transition from it not being a ramp there to like, so how, how long was the gap? The, well, how long was the Widowmaker there for? Uh, like eight years, seven years, eight oh, years, man. but it felt like 20 years at that age, you for know? Sure, for sure. It was like, <clears throat> I looked at it because he wrote, there was, n- if you, the weirdest thing is West Oakland had no graffiti like it has now, zero. Yeah. Our building was a that big of a tin building, right? It would be covered. The only graffiti on it was like Mad Max Schaff, which Jake wrote, or <laughs> Max and Jake, Widowmaker, and it said like, you know, 80, six to 93 or whatever it was, which like I said, felt like for fucking ever. But you know, you session a ramp a thousand times. The, the weird thing, you, the Oakland you know, compared to the Oakland I knew is very different. Like I had nowhere to go. Like there was no skate park. There was no Avenue bar. There was no Lovely's Burger. Like literally dude, there was, you'd go to um, Sizzler, like, you know, like there was just nowhere to go. There was no livelihood at night. So I was kind of like a shut in down there and Jake didn't let my friend skate there. Uh. So like the day I graduated high school, I'd like beg him, like, um, Eris, who Ron mentioned, Eris Volkos, who passed, Ben Sanchez, this kid, Ali Roller, that skated for Ron's company. He was as good as Danny Way at the time. Damn. Those were all my high school friends. I had to be like, hey, can they come skate? We're all graduating. And he was like, well, <laughs> I guess so. You tell that, you know, blah, 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 yeah, Ali yeah, Roller, yeah. he's got to do this or that. But, um, <laughs> th- but his friends were welcome on like these certain nights. So Coco, Julian, Word. Arco, Word. Stacey Gibo. Um, heated sessions, dude. The, the, I mean, Arco, Arco then, like, yeah. the shit he did was lovely. Whoa. And to see him, like, backside Smith or wh- whatever he did was really good. And then. Why, you, why is there <clears throat> not much footage of Because it was a real thin window, man. Mm. I think it just, like, I mean, I'm not even throwing shade on Arco, but you know, like some people get a little bit older and it just gets really fucking hard or their yeah. body changes or whatever. Like I've had friends like that. They just, word, word, word. but, but when it, when it was on, it was fucking lovely. Just like Mickey Ray's dude. I thought fucking first time I saw yeah. Mickey street skate, yeah. it, I was like, this dude is the, this is gone. It's like, this is the best dude ever. And then fucking manlyhood happens and shit changes. <clears throat> Did Phil uh, Shaw come and skate? Yeah, the dude. Crazy yeah, style? yeah. I know. I heard someone on your podcast mention Phil and how good he is. And yeah. I mean, we got old boy here that's his brother. Who knows? But like, it, t- there's, there's no one like Phil. And I remember asking Eric Costin on a four star trip uh-huh. uh, when Phil was still alive. What do you think of Phil? And he's like, dude, like that. He was weird because he was a long hair Hessian kid that skated for this company, Confusion. And it was a little ad and thrasher. And I remember even Jake was like, what's up with this fucking long hair? Cause like, you know, just, it look, he looked 80s. I mean, he looked 80s in the 90s. Word. And then yeah. I had to fucking skate a, a am contest with him. And I was like, oh, here's the fucking long hair, dude. And as much as you wanted to be like, dismiss this dude on yeah. you don't have the cool points. Dude, he was so fucking good. And then as soon as he shaved his head or whatever he did and mm-hmm. came around, unstoppable. Unstoppable. And, and, and you know, Wade's all terrain, yeah. and we know that. Yeah. Uh, there was Cardiel's all terrain, yeah. but Phil had this costin like <clears throat> finesse that was uh, second to none. Yeah, rest in peace because straight up, I, that's why I just yeah, it was that's like beautifully put because I mean shit, man, I I say it a bunch of times because I'm not 
you know, I fucking didn't really start paying attention to skateboarding like that, like that, you know, until like after high school. Yeah. And then it was just introduced to what, you know, Squirrel and DD and all mm -hmm. like, you know, what they had going on and shit. But once I caught wind of like who Phil Shaw was and Curtis yeah. and Ruben and shit yeah. like that, you know, I was like, oh, and it was through Jake, you know, yeah. <clears throat> him saying just a little bit of this yeah. or that made me be like, oh, and like, that's, that's like the appreciation I got for this shit of like, cause, it's like art, you know, or whatever you want to call it, or it's like just the way somebody was feeling that day and what made them pop up on that ledge mm -hmm. and feel like, and the way it translated to me, like this person out there doing that on their own for themselves. Yeah. And like, yeah, someone was getting a photo or whatever, and like for them to like put some shit down that like, the way people speak about it for it or more, you know, and it's not some like, um, some Smithsonian, like, yeah. oh, like, you know, it's just like word of mouth, like. Dude, and it, you know, Phil, there's no gimmick, which is the crazy thing. Like, everyone has their little gimmick a little bit, right? Like, yeah. oh, he's fucking the gnarly guy, or that, you know how, like, Ronnie is just so damn good. Um, Phil, and I love Ronnie, is as good as Ronnie, yeah. but like, he had this thing. I'm red. <laughs> I'm red. <laughs> Uh, but like if he did a nollie heel flip uh, uh, over a little pyramid, mm -hmm. flawless, it's perfect, good, like yeah. Costin feet. Yeah. But if he did a backside <laughs> air, it was as good as anyone. And it was eight feet tall and it was perfect. So like Jake, you know, Jake picked his people and Jake was like, got you. And he was gearing him up to become the next editor of the mag. He was trying to plug him into the mag because Phil was having some physical problems. You know, they always, Fausto, all those guys, they, they said it to me, they're, they're, they always were trying to like, hey, you're, you're getting older, come into the mag. What's going on, what's up? I later, not here, you'll be my phone for nothing. No, no, give me your number, man. Okay, 510? So, 510? Yeah. 882? Uh-huh. 2954? 2954? Yeah. We going to Vegas, man. No? Yeah. Maybe not. All right, maybe. In the Lincoln. We go. Yeah, I got a cat. Huh? I got a cat. Uh, they give you? Mm, yeah, they gave me. They give you two. Yeah, take, I, take, take. Oh, I don't know. I don't like it. You don't like that. <laughs> yeah, listen, listen, listen. Oh, you you want you, you, you want to call me? Oh, yeah, I'll call you right now. My, 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 yeah, my, ex, Ma. Ma, my name's I know, Ma. Mr. Ma. Ma. I know. That's me calling you right now. Okay. You see the radio playing? No. This radio playing. I keep it on always. Okay. All right. I'll call you, bud. So you leaving now? You retired? Retire. Right now? Retired. Today your last day? No. I okay. pay. I pay. I pay. I pay the same for the land. All the all the way outside. You come. Later, I go to LA. My daughter. Let's barbecue. Let's make barbecue. You buy barbecue for me? Yeah. Hell yeah. You down? What's your name? Hungry. Huh? Hungry. Dim, are you saying your name? <laughs> <laughs> your name Hungry? <laughs> yeah, that's my name. What, what is your name? Justin. Huh? Justin. J? Yeah, J U. J? U. S T I N. J? Let me see, man. U. J U. S S T T I I N N But I'm hungry, everybody call me hungry, man. Justin, Justin? Justin, yeah. Thank you. Alright. When you call, I, I know you call. You call me, yeah. But don't call me. <laughs> I, 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 Cat on the thing? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Is it messing it up? It was when he oh, was okay. in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, dog. Uh, that's Mr. Ma. He fucking um. He came and gave me this this uh radio system. It was like, you take, you take. Uh, seventy one. Oh man, I I know listen to music. I know this to music. Yeah. I'm like, all right. He's man. the neighbor? Yeah, yeah, from those stairs, but he just retired, so he's moving up. Yeah. You chilling or you want to get in? Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Yeah, Phil made a lot of us look like fucking clowns, dude. I mean, he was he was good all the time whenever he wanted to be. He had that thing. But I don't really think like the Danny Ways and those people ever really got to see. Mm-hmm. If they saw, yeah, like probably Bob knew someone like that. But like, I don't think. Yeah, because like, oh, so that, that I was gonna actually because so the contest that I'm thinking of, right? When we're talking about contests and shit, I, I mean I don't know the name of it. I can't remember, yeah. but it looked like it was Bob's first contest. Oh, Vancouver. And it was like a nice, like, like nice wide Yeah, yeah, ring. and uh, maybe slightly covered. What was up? What was up that day? Because it seemed like that it was, was like him sickest. coming, like swishing that woo woo. But like you was like, I, I, I think it was like a sick ass Smith. Like the way you were just like pulling the tricks, I was just like, that was a good day. Bro was kind of Colin like, McKay. And it kind of was like he was like, I don't go fuck who coming through right now oh uh, like. yeah but bob brought a lot of energy to like he stayed at my house i mean he lived at my house where, 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 and it, he was so fucking good that you you'll understand exactly what i'm saying right now he was so good i was intimidated and i felt like chopped liver right but i'm skating with him every day and that shit that i filmed then when i look back i'm like man he was making me improve so fast because he was switch backside rolling, he was nose blunt, revert, all this shit, but it would make me learn stuff. It just, I couldn't keep up with Bob. But as soon as Bob would go away and I'd have a normal session, I'd be like, oh, I'm fucking doing all right. You know, like everything's cool. But then we'd go to contests and uh, I, I could tell like I was more consistent and blasting a little bit higher because I had my buddy Bob just pushing me so hard. Yeah. But Bob, you know, he's, one thing about Bob is, he was destined for fame and he wanted fame and like you know he, he was grungy and he did speed when he came here and he partied <laughs> with the boys he's got he's got a tramp stamp yeah he's got a tramp the stamp yeah stamp. he's got a tramp stamp yeah and i was in texas one time and like and that's like dude this is why i trip out on myself sometimes i'm like here i am in Texas, Bob's like walking, there's like the ramp and all this deal. There's the X Games, Ray went to the X Games, we all right. went down there with him. And I'm like, I really only know what I've heard like Jake and people talk about shit, you know, like right. homies talk about. But here I am, and I'm like, yo, Bob, what's up? And he's thinking I'm like some fan. I'm like, you got that tramp stand, you got that anti air wow. tramp stand, wow. huh? I was like, you know Andy Roy? And I like, I had to like catch myself. I'm like, I don't even know this dude like that, right. you know, but like, it was just kind of like fucking a trip because I it's remember a Andy kind of busted like dude, bop. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, there's he was there's nothing like it when he came out. I thought Bob was gonna be like, and I've said this before, like Jack Daniels of skateboarding, like the fucking outlaw dressed in black, yeah. like fucking show up and be like, pow, pow, just shoot them all down. <laughs> the thing what he told me, his words, he's like, I want to be famous like Tony Hawk. Oh, sure. I want to be like Tony Hawk and it, it, it kind of broke my heart in a sense because I was like damn because we all want the anti-hero yeah you could be like the baddest fucking dude sponsored by you know Jack Daniels and fucking what Chevrolet a, or whatever you like you know yeah. I don't know like Bob Burnquist black Corvette made by Chevy but he wanted to be what he looked at in Brazil growing up as a kid. He wanted to be, so I'm allergic. Oh, um, damn. My that's why I'm not touching it. Oh, no, 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 it's all good. As long as I don't fucking touch my face, touch the cat. But, uh, but uh, no, nah, man, it's, uh, it was a trip because he, undeniable talent, but he wanted to, he wanted to be what he saw in Brazil the whole time, the, the celebrities, you know? And it's worked out. I mean, yeah, there's I no that, one that good. Uh, now he knows that you. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh. <laughs> they, they, all, they always know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like allergic to dogs, but cats no, always I get me. I thought it was one of that. Quick intermission. <laughs> nah, I'm just, uh, that's a trip because um, I have this like crazy idea that like Bob was just out there fucking. I got this idea that Bob was just like out there, no shoes on, just like skating in the fucking favelas and like, nah. you know what I mean? Nah, like that, nah. and I think Julian finally just dispelled that in my head. And like, yeah, that's just another thing of the imagination that I get from like just talking to Jake for a couple of seconds, or just even yeah. looking at the dude. I'm like, right. it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like, I just picture. 
him and whoever went down that first trip, just seeing him like skating, I'm like, hey, yeah, ooh, ooh you know. And, and not until recently I realized, like, oh, he was already the man down there, and like yep. he was already prodigy. Yeah. You see all the footage when he's like 10, 11, 12, and he's got all the pads and all the shit. Oh. That's what I thought too. When Jake came back, I yeah. thought basically Jake went to like EMB and saw a fucking Carol in yeah. some raggedy clothes, yeah. right? Because it was the look or whatever, or is to help you stay safe. Word, so he word, couldn't word, be word, down word, at that word. bowl looking all fancy Bob because mm -hmm. he'd get jacked. So I think, and he was just probably a crusty skater at the yeah, time, yeah, yeah, but he's yeah. still in Brazil. You know, I've been there a bunch for uh, skating and motorcycles. You're rich or you're poor, right? And, 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 or you're, you're doing good or you're poor. Bob was doing fine. He was all right. But, yeah, he, but he knew. He wasn't what I'm thinking. That's, what, that's yeah. all I'm saying. It's not even about how, really what it was, you know yeah. what I mean? Because whatever the fuck was going on. But uh, yeah, I picture him. Because he is skating barefoot in one of those. In oh, that. yeah. And oh, so yeah. that's what yeah. burned into my brain. No, I was like, like damn it. They just like <laughs> was walking through the fucking Brazilian <laughs> Here's desert. The <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's the and just seen this fool like yeah. through the peak of the fucking open up of a warehouse. It's like, oh, yeah. shit. Jake's like, yeah, he coming back with us. Yeah. When because then I heard, yeah, like the whole deal of him coming back up, I guess maybe Jake like called Ternowski or something or somebody called Ternowski and was like fucking, yeah, Bob's coming in. He's about to fucking fuck some shit up. You know? He fucked some shit up. That, that contest in, Va in Vancouver, he won and it was, there was no doubt. He shut it down. No one could step to it. It was it was beautiful. Well, that was a sick Bob segue because I was I mean I got some shit in my phone that I'm like but I'm, I'm, I don't even got to look at it. But yeah. um, the reason though I even think about that because I'm like remember that contest and I remember being like okay this was his introduction but then like Max is like this is I'm like you still was like ripping hard you know like some of your tricks still stick out even more than like the switch shit right. you know what I mean. And yeah, that fool was like pretty much like a park kid. Back yeah, in the day, is yeah. What it seems like. That's At that cool. time, I was like obsessed with trying to do ledge tricks on vert. So that's I would what see, I was peeping, yeah. dog. That's what I was like. I would is. see. I remember I saw Gino do like this uh, skate at the ledge alley oop uh, two seventy to frontside tail slide, Word. and I was like, damn. And I learned that on vert. So you know, and like you know, I went to skate camp. The skate camp Ron Allen mentioned when I was a little kid and I met Mike Carroll and those people. Um, so yeah, I always loved street skating. I just excelled at vert. Word. And I also kind of liked that, um, I mean, Jake and I seen it was just two, two weirdos in a warehouse together skating. And I mean, you don't know this about me, but like, I'm an introvert. Like, I don't really love to be around a ton of people. Word. People take it personal, like I don't like them or I'm too cool or this or that. Like it's just because I don't like people that much or like to be around people that much. Yeah, I feel it. I'm not I good at it. it. Yeah. Part of it is because I lived here so long, there just wasn't a scene back then. Like it's a trip for me to skate down the street to the Emeryville Park and I'm like, there's fucking 15 people just hanging out, skating, yeah. having a good time. I didn't grow up around I wasn't that. wasn't like that. So I'm, I'm, I, you know, my motorcycle thing, all of it, it's like me by myself, pretty private, you know? It's, and I'm throwing no shade at everyone. Like, dude, I stopped by Bob's that, like, when they thought the last day was, was gonna, gonna happen. Be, yeah. Man, yeah, I, what the fuck were you doing with Jason Momoa, bud? I built him bikes. Cause all right, yeah. yeah, I was, it was something, I was like, yeah, yeah I was almost that was about to weird go back day. into something. But yeah, that was crazy, but yeah, I guess I can start talking about the fucking, what is the fucking big thing with like, like Raven, you know, and Ronnie? Like Raven can't stay off a bike. Like, oh, you know, is it that like, like what's the thing between like skaters and fucking the ones that get heavy know. into the bikes? Is it? To, I'm always wondering, is it the adrenaline thing? Because like, yeah, Ray will go big on some shit, and yeah, then he will. He did that in the fucking King of the Road shit, and like, yeah. bro, that's a death defying trick. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. you are comfortable with doing already. Right. So is it like? I think, you know, like some people like I'm not to make it like boy girl or anything, yeah, but yeah. like I had an older brother and I heard a skateboard for the first time. I heard the noise and I was like, mm. I want to make some noise. Word, and then you word, see word, someone word, like word. grind a curb and you're like, I want to make that noise. It's aggressive and it's like fin there's that finesse. Yeah. And for me, the motorcycle thing is like I get to build it and make something and then cruise it around. 
And there is like going across the Bay Bridge with the wind in your face and all that. It's a special For feeling. Sure. Hell yeah. But like, I feel like it's like you either have it or you don't. Um, just like vert skating. Like I never questioned why people didn't want to do it. I wanted, my sessions were me at my ramp with the Gons painting, me and Curtis. That was my my only local was Curtis is saying. Oh yeah, you just brought it back because I was like, what was I gonna ask you? I was yeah. gonna ask you about Ruben, but like can't uh, talk Rube, about it. I feel like before, yeah. Though, yeah. So, yeah, I mean earlier you mentioned like uh um, Also oh, Curtis used to come and skate at your ramp. Yeah. Much you mentioned uh Phil, Ruben, Curtis, I think, yeah. in the same sentence. Like, you gotta Phil was like a s- superstar, d- God given talent. Curtis, you know there's those skaters that shouldn't skate, yeah. but they love it so much. Yeah, like Pete the Ox. Okay, yeah, you said it before I could say it. Pete the Ox. Probably n- names in the fucking. Pete the Ox probably not like born to skate. Like yeah. get, here's the gifted skater body, Mike Carroll, where you can do anything. Mm-hmm. Those people are so fucking raw because that I don't think Cardiel was technically born to skate, right. and that's why he's so sick. Yeah. Is everything is like work, and he puts in one hundred percent. Like you know, same with Rainy. You know, it's yep. like it's it's yep. it's so aggro. <laughs> yeah, Curtis, fuck, dude, he did frontside grinds, frontside airs. And something else, yeah. but like everything was death defying on edge. The first time Pete the Ox skated my ramp, he did a 50-50. He did that. <laughs> he, he ran into the wall. He yeah. pushed off the wall, 50 50 backwards, grabbed Indy and yanked in. I was such a did like. You hear that? Yeah. And, and that is that uh, in my mind as like Damn, a technical vert skater, crazy. I was like, yeah. you're not supposed to do that. Like Ben Choder too, Big Ben. Like Big Ben, fucking... but Big Ben had you know a, a barrel of tricks, right? Yeah, for real. Rube, for real, for real. Rube had his Rube Doop alley oop on side grind. Yeah, 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 I mean yeah. that's where I learned it from. Word, that that's word. one of my that's one of my ten tricks, you know. That word. and that's because of Ruben. But like, but dude, no, Dave was telling me about Curtis one time. And I think that's what even made me even be like, all right, I, hopefully you can like retell this yeah. story again, but I don't think we got there, but just about being at some pool that was like, like a cobblestone maybe, or pebbles or something, just yeah. something that wasn't supposed to be grinded. And Curtis was just like grinding through it and then a little bit more. Yeah. And yeah. it was just like, what? Like He know? loved pain, first of all. Like he loved to slam. Like, you know, he'd, he'd look at you like on the bottom of the pool, like ragdolled, he'd look at you like, you like that? <laughs> and that's why Jake, Jake loved Curtis Boy. because Jake, dude, <laughs> back to Jake real quick. Yeah. Like the H Street video came out, real technical video. Boy. He would only watch the slam section to get psyched and we'd watch it over and he'd laugh so hard. And so with Curtis, he was like, I get to see my buddy do that grind on the shit where no one can, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna see him bleed shit. and pay pay for it. So he, Word. that, that you know, like, Kurt was just the dude you let out of the van and you were like, you're not gonna be walking home. Word. You're gonna be laying in the back of the van. Like, you know, he went to Europe on one of those big trips with us and like, he looked like just a scab factory by the end of the thing. Damn. But those dudes, like, they weren't blessed with that talent like that, but they loved it as much or more than anyone. Yeah. And they put so much into it. And, you know, Royce, that fucking dude probably would be a major league baseball player. Look at him. You know, he looks like <laughs> Nolan Ryan or something. And I mean, I remember first time I saw the Cardinals or something. Yeah, I was kind of like, this dude kind of like looks like a jock, like yeah. a, a kid at school. Dude, you're saying all the, like, I had this list. I was like, I'm going to say a name and tell me what you, but like, this is way more dude. better because. Also, Dave was talking about fucking Royce, Royce and, and the backside airs in a backyard pool. Yep. Dude, that, that shit, as a vert skater, like you do a backside air a certain way. I mean, you might look six different ways, but like you don't do that like, oh, I'm hooking it up there yeah. three feet. Like you, you get on top of it. Mm-hmm. Royce did it in the black bottom pool, you know, this high and, and consistently. So you, Royce and Curtis and Ruben, Curtis had two tricks that he would have to put 500% in to get them. Yeah. Over here, you had Royce just finessing these Flowing backside them. airs and yeah. lean airs and Smith grounds. And all this is in a session. All this is in the same session. Like the hills burnt down, 89 or whatever that, 89, I believe. And uh, we'd go up into the hills and you would see every time Matt Neely, RIP. 
Curtis, Ruben, all dead. It was fucking, that's the trip. Royce, um, maybe not dead. Not dead. Still Tony ripping. Tony Farmer, still ripping. Uh, you'd go up there and it was just a fucking smorgasbord variety pack of fucking styles, you know, and Jake loud as fuck doing Did you his little shit. Bobo? Yeah, dude, I was tripping when, uh, when Dean was talking about that. Cause, oh, yeah. Cause I, my, I was 14 the first time I went there. My friend Dave Dunn was 16 and we had a little Honda Civic. And when we came back to the Civic, they were just about to let the e-brake off the Ooh. car and roll it down the hill. That's so like it, it that was a hard ass that was like my first pool i pretty much got to skate and like get up on what? But that's a trip yeah that's yeah a trip. blood bowl Fuck was there yeah. what did he call soul bowl so he's like yeah. i call it the soul bowl. yeah we call it blood bowl yeah yeah, too, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. you know I, I i knew dean from the avenue or from big and silver line is how i met him i didn't know his whole skate history until mm. i saw the photo on the wall of him at oh, the yeah, tennis same yeah, that's why i had to tell him i was like bro yeah. Knowing that that was you, yeah. and like I'm here with a bunch of fucking dumb shit yeah. skaters, but it's yeah. like you're here serving us drinks, yeah. and yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, like yeah. D- Dean I'm, is the I'm shit. I'm in the right zone. Yeah. This is all right. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, the East Bay had a heavy skate scene, pool scene, and drug scene. Word. So like, as a as a young guy, like I didn't do any drugs because I saw this older generation of skaters, Berkeley skaters especially. Dude, boom, falling off. Just fucking, I'd see him on the street and be like, damn, there's so-and-so, he's yeah. fucking junkie now. Damn. But like, Ruben always kept his shit together. He partied. But uh, Curtis as well, like, Curtis didn't really party that hard. He looked like he did, yeah, but like, yeah. those were kind of- Because he was fucking the, partying the, on a board. Exactly. Eating shit. Those are the older dudes that I looked up to. Um, and you know, they'd skate my ramp, but like, Curtis, yeah, that's, Curtis I'm just was tripping a lot. So, like, Cause this this is like Jake's crew, right? Like this yeah. is like who he's going out getting fired up with. Yep. And is he the editor when like or no? He's the shipper. Yet, right? at that he's a time. shipper, so yeah. he's he's just working there. Like I'm, you know what I mean? Waiting I to get like off work. Fools are like, I've, I remember like hearing stories of other fools like shitting on him and shit. So he's like, but when he goes to skate and gets his expression out of this shit. These is the fools that he's kicking it with. And you're part of the crew. Like, he's got the... I'm fucking, a little guy waiting The little the homie, like yeah. you're saying, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's building Can, a ramp and shit. Yeah. And, like, this is what... When now he's like, all right, now that I'm driving a boat, yeah, this is the shit that kept me fucking fired up on it. So this is what I want to see. And that's kind of, like, emulates now, like, for me, what we've seen on the covers, what we think is sick, yeah. you know? Like, Blake, I, I fucking corner air and his fucking... Yep pool around the corner and, and that people barely can skate you know like that's, that's the pool over on east 12th yes damn that what is it called again the uh, casper pool casper's pool yeah, yeah. that's why you know sean Cho shot yeah. it blake norris you yeah. like you know if you know about the kid you know about yeah. the kid you know right. and if you don't and then when you find out it's like damn you know like, i mean jake yeah. he he the crazy thing was he was loud and proud and right even when he was wrong he told me, you know, Brian Patch, that's the next big thing. This is your your job's done. He said, your career's over. Look at this. One day he came home and I was like, damn, my career is over. And then you skate with the dude. I'm like, he's just like the fucking rest of us. But he was wrong. I mean, dude, you got to realize we were riding. Holy shit. Jake, it wasn't like Jake knew the future. Brian Patch is pulling the trick right now to go sick one right Maybe, now. yeah, in our heads. Yeah. But 45 miller, we, Jake rode wheels this big on vert just alongside me like he fell for all the gimmicks and Where, the, and the yeah. fucking cut down shoes it comes, the, it comes with the yeah, territory that's what yeah. i'm realizing being here is shit comes with the territory and like you thinking this one dude is like oh no this dude's fucking sick and then like you're like oh uh, this dude's a cook for real you know and like you don't know you got other homies and be like i told you he was a cook but then you got <laughs> you got some homies being like oh this dude's a cook and i'm like nah you don't like we'll let us skate and talk for him right and that's what I'm starting to realize more. I, th- I think about that old dude every day, and I yeah. barely fucking, I mean, kicked it with him at the park and shit. It's just like, the, some of the essence of the way he would convey what he liked, why he liked it, mm-hmm. it's like so different than what we get in mainstream. Like, yeah. this is what you should be doing, and you should be doing it like this, you know? Especially when you can look back in someone's history and see them, you know, like, on the forefront of just being anti what somebody, you know what I mean? like. Yeah, he grew up in like, you know, I have hardcore p- friends that the, are into hardcore punk, the right? And they'll send the me fucking, these things like, hey, yeah. dude, that, that's Jake. 
in the pit right there with the chain up his, because he told me he used to chain his boots to his uh, belt loop. Word. So if he passed out, no one would steal his boots. Word. And I then I see the photo, but he was like big into that Bostonian Word. hardcore scene. But mostly I think he liked fucking things up. Yeah. So like in the pit, he said they would pick out the square. They'd be like, that dude, the rocker dude shouldn't be here. And he said him and his friends would beat the fuck out of him in the pit. And I think that's just like his mentality was like, to fuck shit up. Yeah. And so when he, I think when he discovered the Cardiels and the Julians and those dudes that yeah. were like road warriors, down to shred, yeah. low maintenance, he was like, these are my people. But he also knew like how sick the Chicos and Mike Carrolls and those people were. Like if you were talented, Jake noticed it. And whether it came to like photography and that shit too but he Warner. liked people that were like down for the grind and yeah if you went on the trip and you were high maintenance you were never yeah, going again yeah where that's why i appreciate you fucking uh chopping it up with poo and shit yeah i was just like man i know he's like right at that mode where he's like what am i you know like what's going on like did, did, was it ever like that for you like how'd you get on real like did you like go like like what was that like you know what i mean rice is ramp did yeah. you ride any um company before that uh there was a guy stacy gibo i mentioned earlier yeah. big hawaiian guy fucking <clears throat> rad dude he when dogtown kind of reinvented itself with karma and wade and those people oh, okay yeah. i got flowed by dogtown okay so, so I was, and they were good shapes good wood same as real um and then skating bryce's ramp with jim and tommy uh, they had approached me and it was i wasn't like it was the very beginning i liked the dude jeff clint and the shapes he made mm -hmm. but i was kind of like real I don't know, man. Yeah. Is it like, is this a good company? <laughs> like I'm, you know, it was a. Yeah, that's a trip, man, to hear yeah. to hear that because it's like, yeah, it's a good company. It's the best. I mean, it's a great company, but it's yeah. like that thing. And and you know what, dude? Like, in anyone else in my shoes would have been like, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like, you know, Wade was my friend at the time, and and you saw like companies. There was a change happening. Like Sims was a company when I was that age, and Work. Sims was fading out, and this company was fading out, and this company was irrelevant. So I was like, man, I want to get on something that's like sick for a while. Work. And uh, I talked to Jake about it. I was like, hey, man, they like asked me to skate for real, mm -hmm. and he's like, we had this like family sit down with my sure. mom and everyone, and they're Got like, it. all right, like skate for real. Yeah. It's like, all right. So that was the beginning of it, and I went on all those early trips and. You know, like I said, I wasn't high maintenance. I liked to skate everything at the time, but I would have never seen the trajectory of my life skating for real for so long. I couldn't have told you that would happen. Word. I just think it'd be a couple of years until yeah. they were like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Damn, and like, yeah, cause so Tommy was just like, the fuck, it was, it, it was just like, sick to be around oh, OG great. Tommy G yeah fucking, but he wasn't that like OG back then right yeah I like, mean he was it, it's weird but you he's know been that doing it for so, so long. long and I'd That's seen him as is, you yeah. know the Bones Brigade video was like uh rented at this local video store for my 13th birthday okay. like so like yeah. I saw Tommy and that whole thing of like when someone's seven years older than you back then mm -hmm. there it's a whole different for thing sure, right yeah. now it's not like that dude poo that just left's 23 i'm 50. <laughs> it's like we, but we can go skate together Shut right it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it's a lot different, different back then ah, word. so so, so i did feel like the og homie, yeah the big kind homie of, or whatever. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Word. And you know, Jim was so funny. Jim was his worst, own worst enemy because he's like, man, I'm so old and my back and this and that. <laughs> so you're just like, well, fucking Jim's old, yeah. you know? But when Jim was fired up on those early trips, we'd go to Santa Barbara and skate the Powell Warehouse. And then after the Powell Indoor Warehouse, we'd skate these manual pads. But it was like just how people do it today, just Word. less cameras and, but it was the, the beginning days of Rio were the best, man. Coco Word. and, uh, Kelly Bird and Kel. Did Kelch Kelo ever get a board? Yeah. He did. Yeah, huh? yeah. Damn, I wonder where you can find one of those. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, Coco was like, that was another one of Jake's guys, you know? For he, sure. I, he, I yeah. think he had Coco on a long term plan, but, you know, Coco, his chemistry and everything, mm -hmm, I think, mm -hmm, was a little mm -hmm, fragile mm -hmm. or he, maybe he didn't want to, man, because it, that life, that is a part of grind you up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Partying as hard as they do and skating as hard as they do, I think some people came home and were like, fuck, I can't do that much more. Yeah, yeah. Other people are like, can't wait till the next one. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Fucking, um, 
Did you expect like those clips of uh, Onio and Clem to like get so like? I wanted to talk to you about one of them. Onio does a heel flip down some steps yeah. in, the, in the one video. That's Richmond High. Oh damn! And you're from there, right? Yeah, I'm from Richmond. Yeah. So is that yeah. we would to go to his house then was 23rd Street exit. Yeah, that's, that's, right? that's 23rd. It was right there. That's yeah, 23rd. For sure. Yeah, dude. One one day because uh, there was some they had moved from West Oakland to there and so, but they were still going to school in West Oakland so I drive uh -huh. out there twice a day and get them to school and back Word. and the one morning I go there on a Saturday and we go sk I'd get pulled over in that neighborhood but like Damn. they'd be like what are you doing here and I'd be like Damn. oh I help with these boys Word. we're skating Richmond High Onio's like ollie in the steps and we're just skating those little steps it's like a little four stair or something or mm -hmm. brick brick school and he brings his little friend from the neighborhood and the cops come they're like School guys like, hey man, like whoa, 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 yeah. and I throw the kids in the in my little Tacoma at the time, <laughs> yeah. and we U-turn it to get back to Onio's house. Dude, the fucking kid on the end pops out. The door wasn't Damn. shut. Rolls across the street, and we're U-turning in front of all the cars coming, and I'm like, fuck, I'm going to jail. And the kid pops up and he's like that. And Onio just starts laughing. And the kid starts laughing. He gets in and then I start laughing and was like, that didn't happen. But, uh, but yeah, dude, when you said about yeah. uh, Rich, live, growing up in Richmond, I didn't know that about you. But I was out yeah. there all the time Word. back then. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. Those clips, you know, they were... They were a huge, Onio, if I read you the text he sent me yesterday, you'd tear up. You know, I get these random texts that are just beautiful, saying mm -hmm. how he's skating around the lake at 4 a.m., that it's like saving his life, keeping him out of trouble. But I've known him since he was that big, dude, in diapers, could barely walk. Yeah, if you look in an angel dust scene, you see yep, the whole family, the whole moms, family. dukes, and I'm like, and I always like, think about you too, I'm like, damn, Max was, there too and like holding yep. it down with them kicking yep. and shit too yeah yeah my first pro graphic is it's uh, a picture of them that gabe took and they turned it into like a drawing and it, in the top it says dedicated to the pine street mob Straight and that was what jake called me him and, and all those fan. kids <laughs> but you know jake that's one thing he taught me and that's the side that you know no one knows he when he was love and he i'd seen him i'd see him like tear up talking about a session we had or or, or the boys or something like that. There was a really sweet side to that guy. Sometimes I think that's why he was like such an asshole is he didn't want anyone to see like yeah. what a lover he was. And, but his love even came through all that hate and then it yeah. was worked perfect for him. He was like, come on, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. If I'm this fired up on you about something, that means, you know, I love you and shit, but some people couldn't take that shit. You no, know? Like, yeah, he kind of hazed like, you, <clears throat> but yeah. like if, if Ronnie or Raven or whoever was skating Bob's and Jake was like, uh, mm -hmm. or Grant, like he yeah, loved yeah, fucking yeah, Grant. Yeah, yeah. If he, uh, to Grant, Grant knew exactly what that meant. Let and you find. probably, yeah, <laughs> dude, I was going to say, you probably got that charge. Straight up, straight up. Yeah. Yeah, man. So like, did, <clears throat> cause like now at the shop, you know, like I'm always thinking like, how could I like, what could I do, you know, to hype someone up and like keep them going up, you know, like you can't just, it's not like I, I got all the shit to just give away, right. but I'm also like, okay, well, put together like video parts or what you need me to post or whatever, like, um, did you, do you think like, what well, Onio and everything, like, did, <clears throat> did that like, uh, maybe like a change the way that maybe you would like uh, start to interact with? other kids like wanting to just because maybe it was a lot of emotions like because that's like family you know it wasn't just like yeah. this whole like uh oh let me try to get you some flow for some boards like, yeah you know, like, yeah yeah no I, I go too deep man there's yeah. there's a kid i bring groceries to i spend fucking 300 dollars a Word. month bringing this kid that's squatting in the house groceries I, my friends people that love me have to be like hey like he's on his path like I rescue dogs and shit. Like yeah. Onio was so much energy. Clem, his brother who's in prison, it's mm -hmm. so much energy. It's fragile, you know? It's like, I just see, I'm so, I'm, I'm sensitive to a path that I see. <clears throat> Onio is one of, let's say 20 kids that grew up in that house that's alive. And uh, probably 16 are dead and the other two are in prison. 
right? So he's alive and that's all that matters. Yeah, that's all that matters, but all of that is history. All of right. that, and you know, and you're a part of that. And like, that's why I'm even like, you know, that's, that's just a trip how that translates because skateboarding will show you something that you're not really looking for. And like, a lot of us are invested into who Onio and Clint were yeah. without never even meeting them yeah, or yeah, hearing yeah. from Luca be like, oh, like Onio and Clint, like, bro, they was the sickest, they was gonna be on. Like, yeah. oh, you know what I mean? And yeah. then like, going to the story of what society brings certain Certain people to what happens you know what I yep. mean and then like through all of it you always you know are still there you know what I mean willing to are still speaking up for them and still speaking great about family and I and I, I feel like that's all conducive to what skateboarding is and shit but it's just kind of like yeah it's not even to really like try to break it down on some scientific shit right. it's just like <clears throat> through skateboarding it's just yeah it's, it's just a uh, it's sometimes it's it's a certain way you gotta navigate and just communicating with people or just like even or how to communicate with yourself about things. So like you saying, like you you know, you'll go too hard sometimes. And sometimes yeah. people are like, hey, woo woo, you know, but then like what is too hard? You know what I mean? Cause we, people wanna go out and fight for all these things that's going on all over the place, right? True. But it's like these are the type of interactions that really matter. I'm a you know backyard I mean? person, dude. Exactly. I, I mean, I know, I know there's shit happening across the yeah, world all the time. Yeah, and that's just like not even really even. I'm, yeah. that's, I'm trying to talk about what, right here. You know what I mean? And sometimes we we it's hard to even do that because there's like the the constructs of what you look at somebody, what you see, and like color, race, mm -hmm. and oh, he's only supposed to be doing this because this, or he said right. this, and like oh, whoop, whoop, you know, and like sometimes people lose sight of what it's really about. And like, yep. me asking you about some skate shit about Onio and them is like, you being like, man, like, I'm just happy that I can still talk to Onio. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And, and he like, still skates, dude. Yeah. It, and if you told me 15 years ago that Onio would be skating still, again and yeah. loving it, I'd be like, nah, dude. Because he, he was right there, like, get in the van, go on the trips. He went on a couple trips. Word. But, you know, the, the, the neighborhood and that was powerful. And, and and I heard you say I've heard of you know I heard Dean say it I've heard you say it like yeah. skateboarding is a white boy sport at some it's not yeah but, but it's but, not but that's how it, but back then it was and and that beat him and you I used to be like the fuck is wrong with you but we've all been 13 14 15 mm. months and if you're if five of your uncles were like the fuck are you doing with this shit yeah. you might you might not have the power to keep doing it Word, so I mean, word. dude, there, there's this is one of my craziest Oni and Clem stories. Is uh, they once said uh, something about this white dude that would jog through my neighborhood, and I said, you know, like, well, I'm a fucking white dude, yeah. and they said, you ain't white, <laughs> and I said, what's white? And they did a nerd impersonation. Yeah, word, word. That and it's beautiful because mm. they didn't think of it as like white and black, they thought of it more of a personality thing. It blew their mind that my mom was white, that I was white, that Jake was white. I mean, Jake, PCP blunt, got handed to him in front of the house, right? And he's like, what the fuck? And they all laughed, all the dudes laughed, you know? And he was like, the fuck is that? But like, he was down for whatever in the neighborhood and like a huge yeah. presence. And that's how we survived down there. But he taught me more, he taught me like, Look out for these kids. Word, word, you know, he word. was so good to them, and then they yeah. kind of became my responsibility when he moved out. Yeah, see, man, and that's what it that's what it transcends is the color shit because really, like, you know, like you said, we I could spend all days talking about this, but like, yeah, the constructs of black and white were terms that were implemented in whatever, 16 something something mm -hmm. to create the separation. Right. And like for them to say that and to be like to impersonate a nerd person really is impersonating like a class right. of motherfuckers who have hella go. money and acting like snobs. 100%. And it's not even about your color, you 100%. know what I mean? And I feel like, yeah, like it's hard to like pick and choose and what you should give your energy into and how hard you should fight towards it, especially when it comes to skateboarding because it's just about the fucking board. That's right. Really, you know, right. but we live in capital society, whatever, you know, so if you're putting your energy into something, you should be rewarded or whatever, but yeah. I, yeah, just, I mean, think about Bad Brains as a band, you know, what, how yeah. they sang, how they looked, like how many necks did that snap when they, when they were like, dudes were listening to that music and then yeah. they see the fucking album and they're like, what, this is the dude? Oh that, that, that. yeah, for real, for real. You know, like that kind of shit, there's but, always yeah. been that coloring outside the line, yeah, but, sure but skating yeah. now, more than ever, it's fucking, it just doesn't matter, thank God. 
Yeah, for real. And that's a good start towards making it an even playing field for the for those who need it to be even playing field. Well, we, you know? we've always, I mean, whether, it, this is a fact, skateboarders have always had the jump on style and for things sure. and everything. So for if sure. we got the jump on this, yep. then that's where the world's headed, hopefully. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I like to think, man. Yeah. That's what I definitely like to think, you know, and like, as much as I get caught up in like, what would be the cool thing to say, or what would be the cool way to portray this, or... How can we sell this or sell that? Right. It's like, really, we're not selling nothing but love and community. Like, we're not selling it, you know? It's like, we just got love for the community right. and like, this is what we got, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, and if you enjoy it, sit, because there's so much in the world that we could all tackle together. But if we start off just rolling together and riding together, yep. maybe we'll get somewhere, you know? Yep. The stupidest shit I've said in my life comes from people saying stupid shit to me, Word. right? It's like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of a loner person. So people take it the wrong way and they say something stupid to me and I'm smarter now and I keep my mouth shut more and I'm just for like, sure, I'm gonna let sure. you think about the stupid shit you said oh, to me. I remember one day me and Squirrel walking down the street and we was just chilling and then you pulled up. And oh was like, yeah, I remember. Hey, Squirrel, like hop in. And so I was like, oh, I forgot somebody else. I was forget like, you were there that day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, so I was like, that, that was for sure Max. And so I was like, that wasn't Max. Like, I was like, bruh, I've seen Max in that truck. That was Max. Yeah. And it was like, oh, whatever. Scroll came back shook. He was like, man, somebody told him I wrote on his board or something yeah. like that. I was <laughs> so <laughs> No, dude, I mean, I get. Do you feel like motherfuckers don't be giving you respect in these streets? Well, not, I mean, idiot, like little disrespectful fuckers, maybe, for but sure, and then you gotta sure. check them. Yeah, but and like, Scrubs, like the little homie, you like, yeah. hold up, but no. it wasn't, he definitely well, didn't. I don't remember who yeah, he, did, he was with some people that were just hating on me because Word. of, I mean, this sound, I hate to say this, but my popularity at the time. You know, yeah. it's like probably when the, the syndicate shoe came out and they were just, oh, people yeah. want attention. They want you, they so want to be seen. I, I, okay, so we can, I just had to drop yeah. that little story here. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I was, I'm gonna ask you though about that though, like how you got the shoes and shit. Do you think that in the long run that collabing, because 4Q is your, that's your, yeah. but whatever, but that's yeah. like, that's what you got going. Yeah. And then when you collab it with other big brands and that lasts for how long it lasts for, but do you feel like that, um, betters the, the shit for you like you know what i mean i mean definitely didn't yeah. worsen it right yeah, i yeah, want to say like it. yeah it doesn't yeah. worsen it. i'm not obviously yeah. but like um do you think like taking a route of like maybe just like hunkering down and maybe not doing like you know like does yeah. it yeah is it or is it does it just like even now i guess it's more so like independent or major label you know like that's yeah. what you know what i mean like, i got bills to pay dude so it's up. like one of those things it's like the vans thing that's a childhood dream design yeah, some yeah. shoes for vans for sure i get to do this boot thing now i got to learn all about how they're made it's a little small company american made shit that i believe in word um, and if it comes with a couple motherfuckers hating that you just got to be like quit dude, hating then it's, it is they're gonna it is, hate right? if i Regardless. work down at home depot and sell the guy exactly. the light bulb the wrong way <laughs> there's always gonna be a hater straight up and that's the weirdest up. thing thing dude the the more anytime i've gotten a little more notoriety or fame the haters line up because how did jake look at shit like that you know oh, what he'd I mean? be like tell them to fucking suck it yeah you know like, what i mean get your money if it makes sense right dude, think like, about the money he had coming in from other places from yeah. whack places mm -hmm. you know he would have made fun of himself for collabing with some of those people but at yeah. a certain point you're like man i gotta live but you know, there's a lot of ripping skaters, like dude that just left. Yeah. That if he doesn't get his day in eight years, Word. it might create some bitterness inside of him. Mm -hmm. So every once in a while in my life, I've had to deal with that bitter dude. Hey man, I was at blah blah blah, and you yeah. kind of snubbed me. Oh. Word. Wait, the day I had to skate in front of all those people and had yeah. so much shit on my mind, For I sure. didn't give you the time of day? Like, that's just some whack shit. You know, think about Grant. The dude has never sold out. The dude has never, he, he could be like a name every little kid knew. Mm -hmm. Like, he could kind of present himself. Humble as fuck, mm -hmm. raw as fuck, lets the skating speak 100%, right? Somebody has thrown shade at Grant. For sure. For that's world. our world yeah it's just every it's just, no yeah. matter how pure and awesome you are someone's gonna throw shade at you and i'm not that pure and i'm not that awesome Word. so people are gonna throw shade but it's it's such a waste of fucking energy and time 
And um, especially in this fucking world that we got, where we trying to escape that shit, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, how do motherfuckers even find time to hate? But I guess it's, it's, it is what it is. I look at a skate shop sometimes like a bait shop, you know, like. Motherfuckers come in, they want the fucking <laughs> the same lore, yeah. the same Paul, Damn. there's photos of the I big catch, you know I what I mean, that. and all that That's shit. That's amazing. You know, and like, there might be some cats that come in and be like, oh, this motherfucker talking about skate, you're going to uh, fish and Tracy, like, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know about the Delta and Stockton, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God. Yeah, and I imagine it's probably like a little bit like that with the fucking motorcycles and shit too, Absolutely. Right? Like, Dude, it's a whole like nother. riding a sho- shovel, no. Here's whatever. the deal. Though, though like in skating and i've always said this like if you don't if you don't rip you better have a fucking sick personality or something that people want to be around you for right but but as soon as you drop in and go people know that's base level where you're at right if i see tommy and i didn't know tommy was the og i'd be like oh that's sick that fucking older cat's out there he's got good style he's getting his little grind right yeah i'd still respect that because he's Older He's cat out there thing. doing it. Yeah. In the motorcycle thing, dude, these guys don't know how much you had to go through in skating, mm. but they can they can dollar bill up and they can get their thing. And then this is how I look at it. You know, you see those photos of like Pier 7 and there's 12 people sitting down. Yeah. And there's two dudes ripping. Yeah. Well, these 12 dudes sitting down had all their opinions about those the two, two dudes, dudes, right? Yeah. And, and that chatter, right? Or, Instagram and all that and like my bike scene, yeah. these dudes all have a voice mm-hmm. and they're loud as fuck and they're chattering, yeah. but they're never those two dudes. But they kind of want to talk shit about those two dudes because they can't really do it. Is that what you think you got in common with Naga? Because it seems like Naga just like plugs out from whatever and he's just like, fuck that. I would like shooting photos of this. So this yeah. is why I'm shoot photos I mean, of. Ken's on his, he's a, uh, there is no photographer that really gets on the bike and rides like Ken. Word. So he's one of a kind that way. Shit. He's got the Japanese connection. He speaks the language. I mean, yeah, dude, I know yeah, a lot of yeah. people from Japan that have yeah. been here as long as Ken. Uh-huh. No, but none of them speak like Ken. Damn. Right? I mean, Ken is an anonymous, not You know what I'm Anonymously, that, yeah, uh, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But, but Ken also, like, he loves to fucking ride the bike. And have a lot of people him, just don't. Have you seen don't. him skate? Are you still... I've never really seen Ken skate oh, that much. Bizarre. Berkeley oh, okay, Park back in the day. Yeah. Once, um, once or twice. We but... miss Ken over here on this side, man. Yeah. I want to see yeah. him. I want to try yeah. to get him over here for fun. But yeah, the, the bike thing, man, like, I love it because it's creative. The painting and all that. Like, if I just painted tanks and didn't build the bikes, like, I, I like, like, you... You make this little piece of candy. It's like I watch cooking shows mm-hmm. and you see the food at the end. You're like, you're like oh, damn. Oh, and then you get to eat it. Yeah. So like with the bike, it's like I make this thing and I'm like, yeah. man, that's pretty. And then I get to ride it, right? But like a lot of people, I think, miss that whole part. They kind of just are like, yeah, I got a skateboard. I got a ramp. Yeah. You know, the ramp owner a lot of times is kind of a kook. For he sure. does, And he doesn't really skate, but he wanted to lure everyone into yeah, his backyard. In. Yeah, and like have fun. And so the chopper thing, it's kind of that way. You got the dude, the little loud guy on the he's edge. He's gonna go buy like everything already yeah. that he made. And just... Or he's been coached by all his friends on what to buy. It's, yeah. it's kind of corny, but it's yeah. like, but I love it. You know, just <laughs> like just like it, skate, I skated the X Games when it was here in the Bay Area. Yeah. And the, the oh, was only... you there at the 900 day? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. there, front and center. Yeah, like I got to tell my neighbors in West Oakland, like, hey, uh, you know that noise I make inside the ramp that yeah, y'all yeah, hear? Yeah. Come see me do it. And Sick. they all came, dude. Damn. Like all the, the hood fucking neighbors yeah. were there, right? And I, th- th- I think I did pretty good that year. I know I made top 10 because it was important to me because all the neighbors were there. I didn't want to look like a clown. Oh, sick, for but sure, the, the for 900 sure. Thing, that 900 thing was <laughs> like... Whatever, because that didn't even count for... He didn't, did no, he even win? He didn't no. even win, right? I think they get whoever really won. Bob oh, gave or whoever or whatever, gave yeah, some. Yeah. But dude, I remember I took Bart. I took the train there, right? And I'm oh, sitting sick. on the train with my board, my helmet in my backpack and everything. And this lady's like, did you watch that? that Tony Hawk did that 900? Damn. And I was like, I did. And she's like, you skate? And I was like, I skate, yeah. yeah. And I was like, man, I was just in the fucking X Games with this dude. Yeah. Then, like, watch the best oh, did trick. You, you didn't tell her? No, I didn't tell her anything. Dude, that's a trip. Yeah. That's a trip. You never know who the fuck you sitting next yeah. to. On the <laughs> yeah. fucking, it's like, damn. I'm just like, no, yeah. I, I remember, because it was here two years. I remember both years I did 
got top 10. I did okay. You know, for me, it was just like, I was hyped to get top 10 with Tony Hawk and Bob and all those people. But I remember sitting on those train rides home, going back to West Oakland, just being like, man, what a trip. Like I was just in the big show and now I'm just like Joe Civilian Damn. taking the train taking home. Taking the train home, yeah. yeah. That's a trip, yeah, that is a trip. Well, I mean, shit, I was fucking right across the bridge too, you know, yep. so. That's, no. a, that's, a, that's a sick ass memory to have though, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that 900, dude, that, that Tony Hawk, dude, the broken leg and the shit he just filmed, all of it. Like, oh yeah, his last part. So what, yeah. did you do one of those too, or? I never have done one of those. One of the last parts. Are you go, would you yeah. ever film some more shit? I, mean, I would you like just, to. You just fucking yeah. ate shit that, not that long ago, yeah. or whatever, filming yeah. some shit, yeah. Yeah, I would like to. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I don't try to put a big head trip on skating Word. anymore. If Word. my body, my body feels better right now, like literally this last couple weeks than it has in a long time. I got really into surfing, and I see oh, Austin out sick. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, come on, boy, give us yeah. some break free clips, what? <laughs> we got you up here. We got no, you up here I, in the I, shot, I, right? Or, yeah. Talk about street skating. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Ron, was, Ron Allen was across the street filming, trying to jump this, uh, like, gap, sidewalk to sidewalk, like, little planter gap. Where? And Gabe and I went down there. Jake was talking shit to Ron. <laughs> and Jake's like, do the fucking rail, because, like, his filmer came over to film, to film that, oh, and shit. I remember Jake was so hyped because like, he was like stealing this, some thunder yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, oh my god, it was a, that was a whole. I'm funny. so glad. I mean, I knew because I don't know. I didn't know the full extent, but yeah. I knew. It was, it was like some little shit story. shit. So I was yeah. like, fuck, I gotta yeah. ask. Because I'm like, yeah. this is just like fun. I could just, yeah. We could just talk shit, and we were comfortable talking shit, you know? And it was, I just liked how he was like, you know? People, but, you know? But like, it, it was all good. Was like, yeah, dude, cool. that I, was, I was hoping Ron, like, Ron took the high road on uh, Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, because I'm sure he probably could have came with so many. Oh, so fucking. many. And you know, dude, that's like, that's a <laughs> fucked up thing that that's I had. That's kind of like me, like, being like, talking like, talking a little bit of shit for Jake a little bit. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> dude, d the, the first thing, someone just said it to me the other day. They're like, that dude was such an asshole. <laughs> it's the first thing they say. And I had to unfuck my head after Jake died and even when we didn't hang as much because he yeah. told me, Ron, this guy, this guy, word, this guy word, sucked. Word, and word, I had my word. own opinions about some of these people. Like, dude, I used to see Ron at Berkeley Park in the mornings. I'd go there in the morning and he's stretching, doing his thing. Yeah. Dude, Ron is fucking dedicated as fuck. But, it, but in my head, I was, push day, I was schooled not to be cool to Ron. Like that's the spoils of war, especially in fucking skateboarding. Because when you're rolling with somebody and you're bleeding with them and yeah. eating shit, and they were like, I don't fuck with that. You know what I mean? I don't fuck with that dude. You know, and you're like, well, I fuck with you pretty tough like yeah. <laughs> we kick it really hard yeah. man like i'm saying shit i don't say to nobody I'm, we can sit in silence and just right. roll on this fucking board you know yeah. so i guess i'm gonna hate this person too but then like you, some, it's yeah, always it's, better it's when you wild. lose that sight of that because it opens up more yeah. doors for it to just be community yeah. style that shit is whack as yeah, fuck dude for sure. like there was a dude greg neal this burt dude fucking we called him Huckleberry Fan Bell. <laughs> and he was the worst. And Jake fucking right. hated him. Yeah. And then I was like, maybe that dude's not so bad. Yeah. I ran into him. He was the fucking worst. And I was like, <laughs> all right. Like, my opinion, so, yeah. his opinion, your opinion, yeah. pretty much everyone's yeah. fucking opinion. For sure. But but you, you have those situations where you're like, yeah, dude's kook. Yeah. But but, but that, that shit coming. when everyone's like, you know, that like me and Timo had like a little thing for a while. Or, and it was just because of like drinking and mm -hmm. people saying shit, stupid shit, and that yeah, sure. I would hear it and not unforget it. Yeah. But then when I saw him at that like last day of Bob's, I got to tell Momo, I was like, this is the dude that built this park. Oh, like, sick. Th this is his fucking yeah. baby. That's tight. And Rainey was like, yeah, that if it wasn't for this dude. Yeah. And, and dude, I have mad respect for Timo. Yeah. And it's come full circle. Where it I'm is, just for like, real, because it's like, yeah, I got Aquaman. And I'm telling them that you built this for <laughs> Well, and Be if, cool now, and if you need to, if you need someone to like put this park on blast and possibly for save sure, it, this sure. might be your guy, right? Yeah, here. I heard some shit through the grapevine where it could be what it is all good. Cool. But I always like fucking look at it like with Jake or with Monk or all those dudes kind of know, you know, like shit can be here and gone tomorrow. Yep. You know what I mean? So yeah, you fucking burn it down when yep. you can. Yeah, just like fucking cinders. Really. And then it's the next thing. 
Fire up the exactly, next exactly. Yeah. That's the only, I think that's what some of the fucking bravado and that is. At least with like, yeah, because Timo was at Border Town and then they took that and yeah. it was Wasteland and then yeah. took that and, and a couple other things, people's backyards yeah. and all that shit's gone. Yeah. We had Bob's. Yeah. Like, take that. We'll yeah. keep going somewhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, totally. But I don't think. I don't think. I think we've been. We are. Uh, we're married into the. To the to the to the soil over there. Yeah, I think I hope so. Well, I mean, like the energy that is like, you know what I mean. I, to kind of bring it back to asking about how the connection, like the literally, the people that we're talking about, and like like fucking Gon skated that ramp too, right? Oh like, yeah, Jake's ramp, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna ask you about Gon's in oh, a second, yeah. and we can fucking wrap it up. Yeah, but yeah. All that was going on, like you said, right there. Right there, dude. Yeah, so there has to be something, maybe like. The energy from the iron mixed with bobs, Let's like go. the actual fucking <laughs> bob, go. like yeah. somehow that shit fucking created. Cause now you got Grant, you know, and Roy still coming, yeah. you know, or yeah. Rainey, or Demarcus, yeah. or Pooh Rail, yeah. or fucking who, all types of people who skated all around the world have showed up and walked through that back door or parked on the front, and like that same energy, like you know, it went from fucking hell ride crew and then like that energy just like crept under the dirt and it was like Burp. like you can't kill it you know what i mean it's like when you try to rip a weed out or yeah. something and it just like makes it way like yeah. it's just a trip you know yeah. like there's i think there's like a couple spots in oakland that spot has energy and then that uh peter volko eris's warehouse that, yeah. that ron mentioned where yeah. all those kids skated and then wiggy's ramp was a block away and then like where Gons jumped over me on the motorcycle was, was uh, yeah. two blocks away yeah. from that. There's just certain neighborhoods where you're like, dude, the shit happening at Eris's warehouse mm -hmm. was crazy. And then the shit happening in that half vert, half mini ramp was yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah. And then you have like all those little street spots peppered around there. Oh yeah, because when Ron brought up Eris's, he said something about 62nd and or it's yeah. like right 62nd, there. 62nd and then I think Andy's was 64th or 63rd. Yeah. yeah and so 61st. those are yeah, two different. Um, Dude, wrote corner here, corner here. That's a trip. Yeah. And then you know, across the street from there, after everything got torn down, they went and built a little fucking, that quarter pipe that's like, yeah, like that slither. at the burger spot. But you can't kill it. Yeah, yeah at the yeah, burger it's spot. Like, that's yeah, it's right. a trip. Now yeah. I'm eating burgers at that spot. Yeah. Side show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, what was up with that day? Like, the alley over the, when the alley over Oh, the, man. It, Mark would come here, and I don't know how I got this blessing in my life. Because the blind video was like the Bible to me. Because, I, um, you know, vert skating was uncool, and then you had Jason Lee and Mark Gonzalez skating vert. Mm -hmm. And everyone was kind of like, damn, like Salman Aga started skating vert only at one point in his life, and I yeah. believe it has to do with that like video. That, yeah. So I, Mark's part was my favorite because I loved the jazz, I loved how he looked, I loved yeah. it all. <laughs> and Jake brought him to the ramp once, and then he got my number, and I was the person I, he called, and I was the person whose house he would stay at. So the one day I was like, hey Mark, there's this spot and I have this little mini bike, you think you could jump me? I'd ask Huff first. Oh, and Huff was kind of like, uh. Oh okay, yeah, because Huff was on real. Yeah, Huff, yeah. yeah, Huff was on real. And Huff was kind of like, uh. And I was like, who's kind of like crazier that has the pop? <laughs> yeah. And so Mark and I went there and we had to do it twice because something happened the first time. Word. You'll see two different ones where like, I'm wearing a helmet or I'm not wearing a helmet, a helmet and a hoodie. But yeah, we did it twice and he, you know, it was just like fun. You know, Mark yeah. was so fun. You had an idea. Dude, the sick, one of the sickest things I saw was Mark at my ramp, this kid Gino Perez that skated for 6040 or one of his companies, it was called ATM Click. Word. The Click, the ATM machine made yeah. after the cash <laughs> dispense. But he did a front side 270 Ollie to switch 5 standing up across my vert ramp. Boom, right? He's Goofy Flitter. Psh, yeah. Perfectly came in. And he would have yeah. me start the song over and do this whole dance for him to get him hyped. It's like midnight in my in my warehouse. Damn. And they lost that footage or they got stolen or something like that. Like there's so much footage he filmed at the ramp that was just was never, unheard of. Because it was stuff that was before Cricket yep. even. But he, real. He was on real first. He was first. on real first. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yep. And man, so like this... Does he take any, I don't want to say like that, but like, does he take anything serious? Like, and, and serious in a way of like, obviously he knows how to like, fucking put on clothes yeah, and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, obviously yeah. he's like, fully coherent he and having conversations and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but I mean like serious, like how we're take, we take shit serious of like, yeah, we want to have fun and shit, but like, all right, like, 
I'm serious about this goal or something. You know, like, mm. I feel like he's just kind of like, just like. Yeah, he does what feels yeah. good. Yeah. He buys like, expensive socks. Like, he's really into fucking, like, these high dollar socks. But I remember once he bought me a book and he's like, hey, I bought you this book. And yeah. I was like, oh, cool. Like, this is a sick book. And it really, I still have it. And once he hit me up and he's like, hey, man, remember that book I gave you? You still have it. it. It's really valuable. I looked it up. It was an $850, <laughs> like, vintage collectible book. Because he likes yeah. things that ha- are, like, of value and have good style. That's it. Like himself. Like his company. Right. Like, you know, it's, like, of value and it has, like, that, you know, it, that bleeds through. You know, right. like everybody who rides, you know, it's like, it's kind of like, what's up with this dude? You but know? you want to have a good tax man for Mark? Right, you want to have someone running the show. For sure. Let him skate. Let yeah, him be let the him creative. Let yeah. him, but but he's he's serious, and you could hurt his feelings. And I used to see Jake hurt his feelings. Uh, he's not just like the clown. Word, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm not trying to say, and I don't yeah. even get that from him. Right. It's just like we all like I've came into love and skateboard, and then like I kind of almost find certain people's like what it seems like. Oh, okay, like that's that drive, you know? And like he's so good, but I don't think. He even like looks at it like that. I think he's yeah, just yeah. Like, dude, first thing he does, he walks out of your house in the morning, the no parking sign or street sweeping sign. He he kicks it, boom! <laughs> right, that's his stretching. That's his warm yeah, up. And up. then he's dancing across all, the street. They, they would love to give him all these accolades that I feel like he hasn't even tried to take. Like the first did this and like it, uh, uh, and like it just seems like he's just like dude, I'm gonna just keep fighting with these little weird boards yeah. and keep skating because that's what I like to do and like cool I've made a living off of it but like dude he's he's and that's why I think it's really fucking cool because like for when you just let the skateboard and speak for itself to where everybody else wants to speak for you and yeah he was on the love letters and shit so yeah. I, I'm like I know he's not like just some clown because he's also spitting some facts when he's yeah. talking there you know he's yeah. keeping it real he's, he's like an intelligent person yeah man. I feel like that was probably some of the most times I've seen him serious talking yeah. like Grasso because he's already right. like oh you can probably convey some of the serious thoughts I do have. So, yes, like, let's yes, fucking get this yes. out there, you know? Like. Yeah, dude, I mean, you know, like, people have compared his skating to jazz, and I think it's, like, really obvious but really beautiful because it, it makes sense to some people. Some people like it and some people don't. But I yeah. will tell you, to me, Word. that is the epitome if if he was 27 at Bob's, yeah. bro, you would it would be that shit that like For sure. a few people would be like, holy, holy fuck, shit. like what oh, is yeah. that? You know, it's to, that Ronnie has a little bit of that in him, that all-terrain vehicle and that like yeah. I'm glad style. you said that because I was yeah. just thinking that too. I was like, Ron Bowes for sure. Yeah. Um. But he was the first. You know, it's it people emulate. He was the first to do it like that. Um, yeah, dude. I fucking, I feel like I got through everything. Fucking, um, yeah, I had like all these names, but I was, I was gonna actually, yeah. Oh yeah, I had some fucking, some, some musical choices. Like, you listening to Motorhead or Van Halen? Probably Van Halen because I got like a better Jake connection with right. that. And oh, we yeah, session to that shit a lot. Fucking, yeah, yeah. Too short or E forty. Always short dog. Always <laughs> short dog. For sure. I mean, I love E40. Yeah, but, but town yeah, is yeah. for sure. Old school shapes or new school shapes? I still would ride a new shape. I, I'm not. I, I I ride that football, and it's yeah, just that's, that's as weird as I get. Word, yeah, word. Um, Thrasher in the '90s or Thrasher in the early 2000s? Nineties Thrasher is pretty 90s sick. Thrasher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking um, <laughs> Lincoln Ueda or Bucky Lasky. Lincoln. <laughs> That's what I be yeah. saying. <laughs> Shout out to Bucky though. You feel Bucky's me? insane. Bucky oh, what an sure. animal. Yeah, yeah. Um, Steve Bailey. You skate with Steve Bailey? Yeah, amazing. Amazing. Front foot like that. Just yeah. sick. Karma. Yeah. Karma was sick. Karma yeah, was sick. for sure. Um, and I, yeah, that was pretty much it, man. I appreciate it. That's cool you mentioned Steve, dude. I, I, yeah. Jake's funeral or memorial when he was handing out the avocados oh, no, no. with the big smile on his face. I was just like, I hold you in the highest place, dude. Straight and he up. was on Tent City. That's right. And he would, That's he, right. I didn't surf at the time, but I remember he bought this, like, what I would buy now. The yeah, surfboard, this, yeah. like, cool single fin. And I've never seen anyone like this in my life do this. And I, I next life, I want to be able to do this. <laughs> he would leave the van. Yeah. He would just leave, you know? And I'd be like, damn, dude, his van's splitting up. And he'd leave, and he's like, there's a surf break I want to hit. And he would hit that surf break, and we'd be on to the next spot. Two towns later, you'd see a dude sleeping on a bench. And Julian would be like, 
is that Bailey? He'd see the surfboard and his Damn. skateboard, and he'd be like, I thought you guys might roll through here. Back on the trip. Put the shit back in. Next spot, he'd light it up, you know, be up with us for a couple more days. Then he'd peace out again. Then he would reconnect, reconnect. for the full pipe. Yeah. And I was just like, man, that's like that's the way you do it. Yeah. Like he was no master. You know, he was just like following the shit that he liked to do. Straight and I and I and and so I gained like hell of respect for Bailey. And he wasn't like he's underground. Yeah, for real. He's he's way underground. He rolled for a consolidator, right? Yeah. But did he have did he have boards and Probably shit. Probably didn't like even that. fucking matter to him. Yeah, exactly. You know, just that he had a board like and a good set of wheels. All right. right. Yeah. yeah. Chill. But yeah, super underground. Yeah, and then the avocado thing. I was just like, man, I, this is that guy. When they say, on, make your list of people you admire, you're gonna forget. And I, it's cool you mentioned them because like I fucking admire the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like thinking about it at first. I'm like, All right, well, I'm a fucking ex Max. Like, yeah. I don't want to just <laughs> talk about Jake the whole time. Yeah, even yeah, though we yeah. kind of did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but we touched on some. So, yeah, you know, like yeah, Wade, yeah. Wade was a big part of my life too. Nah, but it's also yeah. about you though too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm glad. I'm, I'm hyped that you came. We never even introduced, even though we're about to. Go. I have Max Shaft here. <laughs> Mondays and Tuesdays. Yeah. Um, break free at the shop. Mondays and Tuesdays. Highlighters. Thank you, dude. We,